Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to look at passive physiological motion of cervical side bending. And the key to it is how do I use my body? All right, we all sit there, we kind of, we move, sometimes we move people around. We don't always think about what we're doing. And what we do, if we do it a little bit more clearly, we're going to get better responses and we're going to get better um, understanding of what the patient presents like. So if I'm going to side bending, again, I'll come in, I'll squat down, I'll pick up the patient's head, this hand, this hand is here, and I want to do side bending. And you notice as I'm doing side bending of his neck, I'm finding a spot, so I'm kind of fulcruming over that spot. But as I do side bending, my body is rotating, right? As I rotate, as I side bend him to the right, I'm rotating to the left. And that's key. Once you're there, you can have a, a good end feel. Don't think, also think about that the other hand that has to do something too. Sometimes people will just do like, they just kind of side bend. They don't really think about, we know that this hand has to block, this hand has to move, but they have to move in unison. So it's not a right-sided thing or a left-sided thing, it's the whole body following. Same thing on this side, if I'm doing, I like to come this side of the table, pick up the head, I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm doing getting him to go over the side bend to that direction, to the level. A little stiff there, huh? Yeah. So you got a little stiffness there. So when you do it, use your body. Don't be afraid to move. And again, the more you can move, the more you're gonna be able to feel. So Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.